Hello everyone, we're back at, fuck I can't even fucking do my introduction, but it's funny because it's genuine. Anyways, uh, we're back at you with a new uh, video, this is going to be how to farm uh, Baron Vitus or whatever, the Baron's name, uh, the Baron of Stratholm's uh, mount runs, this is going to be a quick video on how to do them, Asmund Gold did a video on this, but uh, he wasn't super good on it, whatever, you know, I, I want to make my own custom video. Uh, but Stratholm over here, you go to the east gate, which is actually at this mine. If you look at the map, you would have no clue where the hell to go. But the east gate is the only way inside. You go to the east gate. It has like this little castle thing for the entrance over here. You go inside. You can just run inside with your mount and jump so you can get further distance. Then you go inside. If you have a pet, you want to put your pet away uh, just a little bit. Most players do. So you run inside, you go here, there's a ton of trash at the beginning. Uh, you're going to want to skip all of this trash. Just run straight around if you're high enough level. Uh, obviously if you're level 60 and classic, then you uh, you need a group to do this and you want to do it together. But you're going to run through, go all the way to the end, aggro, uh, aggro a couple of mobs. Just uh, kill them, burn them down. And walk past them. Okay, pop your nitro boots in uh, in here. Yes, I should key bind them. Uh, what you can do is you could just clear the trash here. Um, you want to pull as little mobs as possible to make the runs faster. But I I'm just gonna show you just how how to do a single run. If you have any like uh, spell resist or whatever it is, uh, you want to make sure these crypt, uh, what are they called, crypt beasts, don't hit you with their stuns. What they do is they give you 100% um, like unable to move and it's a silence at the same time. It's like a full on 10 second uh, CC. It's, it's really cancerous. This right here, enveloping web. Um, I wasn't able to kill it fast enough, but enveloping web, 100% uh, like unable to move or anything. So what you're going to have to do is there's three of these necropolis places that you see from Warcraft 3. Uh, you need to take down the boss in front of it. Baroness Anastari is for the first one right over here. I usually go uh, and take them down in, in like a methodical way where I just... I just run one way, then the next, then I, so I run right, then I run left, and then I go, uh, go after the last one, just for the sake of, uh, clearing it up. Also, you, uh, you clear the trash out here so you don't have to clear the trash again. So, now you run this way, you, if you're, if you're level 80 or high enough level, uh, make sure you kill the Eye of Naxxramas, these guys really are cancerous. You can send pets through the uh, through the trash so they get snared and stuff. So you don't get silenced. That's how I like to handle the the, the trash right here. Uh, there's a crypt call crawler right there. I'll send it at him, and then I'll send it at that one. I try to burst them down. I don't try to do an effective rotation or anything. Uh, then we're going to grab the, the boss. We're going to use our diseases here. Ah, and he got me. I think I was still able to cast. Okay, he doesn't do a silence though. So I'll have my pet kill that one while I go and clear out the inside of this. We're going to run in here, taunt them, and then line of sight them so all five of them come together. And then we just drop the death and decay. Uh, whatever class is like, the, the goal is just to batch them all together so you can kill them with the area of effect, AoE. So then we run down this way. So we run to the right a little bit to kill the one necropolis. Then we run to the left, and then we run down this way. Uh, try not to aggro as many mobs as you can, just to save some time. I'm sending my gold towards the Crypt Crawlers, Crypt Beasts. Oh, I think it's only the Crypt Crawlers, not the Crypt Beasts. Uh, anyways, drop the, the, the diseases, hit them with this. You 
you want to do as much AoE as possible without doing too much damage. This is, uh, it's very, very hard when you're, like, really geared out. Because you'll be, like, nuking everything in one hit. And they don't stay, uh, stay alive long enough for you to, like, finish them. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's really annoying to have to deal with that, but... Uh, yeah. So we're gonna come. We're gonna finish, uh, this guy. Pop him. Make sure you're looting the bosses, as, at least, like, most of the trash doesn't give good loot, but, like, the bosses give blues that are worth, like, two gold. It adds up over time to make these dungeons actually worth it, e even if you don't get anything. Uh, they're definitely like it, it's more of a mount run than anything. You're not getting too much value out of it But you will get a few few pieces of gold like maybe it'll add up to like a few hundred uh, especially if you're doing like six to ten runs and you get a bunch of uh, Stuff But yeah, I mean try to collect whatever gold you can you know It's a kind of a waste of time when you don't get the mount but you'll you'll be super happy when you do eventually get that damn mount. I'm definitely not getting the mount at the end of this run, but uh, the point is I want to show you how to do the runs so you can do them for yourselves. There's uh I thought there was gonna be a magister guy over there. So th what happens is you you open up these gates by clearing out the three necropolis. And then you have to open the gates to get to the Baron. Then you go Baron Rivendare right there. You engage him and you nuke him down. Uh, yeah, I'm clicking. I'm kind of on camera, so I am not trying my best on this, but whatever. We do this. We kill him. We don't get the mount like you, uh, you will soon learn. Or maybe you're lucky you'll get the mount, but uh, it's a very, very rare drop chance, so it... It, it will take like a lot of runs on average like many people have said they've taken hundreds now the fastest way to get out of here uh, what I do is I just invite somebody from my guild uh, invite multiple people from my guild hopefully one of them accepts as soon as they join your group you just leave thanks campion he's an OG You go ahead and uh, copy and paste that so you can send that message over and over. That's how you copy and paste, by the way. Uh, you type this, you highlight it with uh, with your mouse, and then you control C, and you can copy it. And then I'll show you where you get teleported as soon as you come out of the uh, out of the dungeon and how to get back there. And then I'll continue doing my runs, but uh, uh, we'll, we'll end the video there once I get back to the gates of uh, Stratholme, so you can see where you get teleported to and where to run to. You definitely want to have your auto walk, auto run um, key key binded somewhere so you don't take forever in these runs. And yeah, that's the Baron Rivendare Mount Run uh, in Stratholme. So, uh, let's show you the gate, show you how to get back there. So again, remember we're running to the mine. Just straight up, straight forward. We're going to run to the mine, get to the door, and then we are going to end the video. So that's how you do the mount runs. They're pretty easy, pretty simple. If you're level 60 or in retail or even in Burning Crusade, these runs will definitely be slower. The drop chance will be much, much lower. But you can also get another extremely rare item and very valuable item. Uh, the Rune Blade of Baron Riven there. If you get this sword, it has a 10% movement speed increase. So as you can see, my mount is running just a little bit faster. I definitely ran the wrong way a little bit, but uh, equipping this sword can give you like passive movement speed, which will definitely help you whenever you need to run or walk anywhere. If you're in Ogremar, you can equip it and stuff, and boom, look at that, we're back at the gate, we run back inside.
and just jump back inside and now we're back inside ready to do another run so thank you if you if you like the video subscribe uh, or I mean if you like the video drop a like and subscribe and then uh, yeah if you want to see more content like this uh, make sure to leave a comment below especially if you want to see content that's unorthodox not raiding uh, so to say like you like not raiding or specifically like uh, just gearing up and stuff if you want to see like uh, outside of raids like achievements and mount runs and stuff like that if you want to see content like that uh, make sure to leave comments I did do the full for love video like a few videos ago and there was a decent bit of uh, views on that it was what uh, definitely wasn't a bad video so uh, yeah make sure to check out my videos and uh, let me know what you think especially if you like these off uh, off raids uh, kind of videos uh, thank you for watching and as always don't forget to smile